Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for May 31st. Today's devotion is titled Sorrow and Joy. The Bible reading is from Ezra chapter 3, verses 8 to 13. In the second month of the second year after their arrival at the house of God in Jerusalem, Zerub Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, Joshua, son of Jezadak, and the rest of the people, the priests and the Levites, and all who returned from the captivity of, to Jerusalem, began the work. They appointed Levites, 20 years old and older, to supervise the building of the house of the Lord. Joshua and his sons and brothers, and Cadmiel and his sons, descendants of Hadavia, and the sons of Henadad and their sons and brothers, all Levites, joined together in supervising those working on the house of God. When the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments and with trumpets, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, took their places to praise the Lord, as prescribed by David, king of Israel. With praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord. He is good. His love toward Israel endures forever. And all the people gave a great shout of praise to the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the older priests and Levites and family heads who had seen the former temple wept aloud when they saw the foundation of this temple being laid, while many others shouted for joy. No one could distinguish the sound of the joy. No one could distinguish the sound of the shouts of joy from the sound of weeping, because the people made so much noise, and the sound was heard far away. Angela's family reeled with sorrow as they experienced three bereavements in just four weeks. After the one involving the sudden death of their nephew, Angela and her two sisters gathered around the kitchen table for three days, only leaving to buy an urn, get takeout, and attend the funeral. As they wept over his death, they also rejoiced over the ultrasound photos of the new life growing within their youngest sister. In time, Angela found comfort and hope from the Old Testament book of Ezra. It describes God's people returning to Jerusalem after the Babylonians destroyed the temple and deported them from their beloved city. As Ezra watched the temple being built, being rebuilt, he heard joyful praises of God, praises to God, sorry. But he also listened to the weeping of those who remembered life before exile. One verse especially consoled Angela. No one could distinguish the sound of the shouts of joy from the sound of weeping because the people made so much noise. She realized that even if she was drenched in deep sorrow, joy, could still appear. We too might grieve the death of a loved one or mourn a different loss. If so, we can express our cries of pain along with our moments of rejoicing to God, knowing that he hears us and gathers us in his arms. Why do you think you can experience both joy and sorrow at the same time? How can you cultivate joy today? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.